folks, this is Jamil Swift for Gunstruck Reviews. We're here at Gunset Academy in Poland, Arizona with my friend Justin yeah, from Colt. Well, you know what? Three years ago, you showed us the Cobra. Yep. Then you sent us the King Cobra. Yep. And then, you know, in the in the middle there, you had the Night Cobra, yep. which is another version that we have done here at Gunstruck Reviews, both of them, all three of them, as a matter of fact. Yeah. What is the gun that everybody asks you for? Oh, this is it, man. This is the Colt Python. So it's finally here. We've been getting hammered uh, year over year, especially as sort of the pressure is built by releasing those other double action revolvers. But I'm glad we did it the way we did it because we learned a lot making Cobras. We learned a little bit more making King Cobras. And you'll actually see some of those upgrades in this new Python. Yeah, like you, like we saw, saw before, we have the same sights are gonna be interchangeable. That's right. So, so the can... interchangeable front sight from the Cobra actually fits this same Python. So you already have, you know, there already exists a brass bead front sight. There already exists a tritium front sight and there already exists a fiber optic front sight. This is gonna come with this ramped uh, orange insert front sight that's kind of true to that original Python. Yeah, this is the original classic one. They're right? all interchangeable, no gunsmith install. You know, you just take out this hex screw and you change it. Okay, and of course they're fully adjustable rear sight. Fully adjustable rear sight, but it's been redesigned. It's similar to the King Cobra target sight. So if you guys saw uh, some of the things we learned with the King Cobra target was if we redesigned this sight, we could actually add material on the top strap of the gun greatly increases the strength of the frame of the gun by increasing the amount of material up there by kind of reducing the footprint of that rear sight. Well, that's really great. Yeah. And also tell me about the where the magic happens is the internals, right? Absolutely. So, so you know, the Python, of course, is known for that legendary Colt trigger pull. Um, we wanted to to really improve on that, use that as a starting point. And we we knew we kind of had a tall bar to leap over there, but we did it. Um, we we kind of redesigned it. It's uh, still a leaf spring design. We did reduce a number of parts. There's a number of assemblies in the old Python that could actually be reduced using modern CNC and modern engineering uh, versus sort of the Python that was the old Python that was designed in the 50s. I mean, they're, they're, they were great guns. They were real, truly kind of craftsman guns. Um, but there was a lot of hand fitting that doesn't really need to happen now because we've got modern CNC equipment that can hold great tolerances that can, that, you know, multiple axes in the equipment versus sort of a uh, single process uh, machining of the 50s and 60s. And also you said that this is, you know, it's a shooter's gun. Is this, Absolutely. Well, know. I mean, that, that to us is the biggest thing. I, you know, if, if you want to spend $3,500 and get yourself a Python to plant in a case on the wall, like they're available, you can go on Gun Broker and get one. But we wanted to reduce something that was really accessible for today's shooter. So it's a $1,499 gun. Believe it or not, that's actually, um, it's it's kind of the same price if you think about it, like inflationary dollars from 1998 to, to 2020 um, of the old Python. It's actually gotten a little bit cheaper in that regard. But, you know, it's a shooter, it's gonna hold up. Now, this is a gun that's gonna hold up to tens of thousands of rounds, um, you know, versus actually the old Pythons, if you shot full 357s in them and you you kind of shot them uh, very quickly in double action, uh, you, you really could knock them out of time. And you know, the difficulty there was there weren't many people who could really work on them competently. Yeah, and now, of course, Cold has this new thing. You can actually shoot a lot of 57s double Absolutely. action on, and you're not going to harm the gun. No, know. no. This is a gun that you can hand down generation to generation. This is going to be a real heirloom. And another cool thing about it is that the same grips from the old Python fit this one, right? They do. The, the outside envelope of the gun is is almost identical. The grips from old Pythons will fit on the new Python. The new Python grips will fit on old Pythons. Um, the outside envelope as far as holsters go it's kind it's compatible with all holsters there's a little bit of a wrinkle there because we're releasing a six inch and we're releasing a four and a quarter now if you know anything about the old pythons they were four inches exactly so if you have a closed end holster like let's say a leather holster or something like that that's designed for a four inch gun the four and a quarter is going to, you know, it's you're adding a quarter inch, so there may be a fitment issue there. But the reality is, the rest of the outside envelope of the gun is identical. Okay, awesome. Well, now the only thing left to do is let's go shoot it. Let's shoot it. Well, 
Thanks for watching Gunstock Reviews and please stay tuned for more videos and more information on this gun. You know, like I always do a lot of ballistic testing. We're going to be doing all sorts of testing and having fun with it here at Gunsight. Thanks for watching and remember, stay safe and have fun at the range. Thank you for watching Gunstock Reviews. Please visit our website at www.gunstockreviews.com for more exclusive content. Please visit our patron page at www.patreon.com slash gunstockreviews. Your contributions would be greatly appreciated and help us grow our selections and frequency of videos.